everybody. So today I'm doing a another studio tour. I'm going to take you down into my basement, which is where my studio is. I've done a clip already of the working side of the space. So this area that I'm showing now is just another area off my work area where I've just started to hang more older artwork plus some new things. That bright piece there is something they did a number of years ago. So this is coming into the room, and um, I've had some work art, artwork up, but over the weekend I just shifted a lot of things around. I took a, took out a couple of pieces of furniture, and um, just started rehanging some things, bringing some stuff that was packed up out. Those boxes are for um, artwork that I'm still going to have to pick up from a show that went up in March that's still hanging but wasn't seen. Um, so I'll just start here. I think I did a clip on this piece. <clears throat> it's a um, landscape that I did from a smaller 8x10 plein air piece in a barn at a local bed and breakfast on a rainy day. It was such an amazing experience. And these other couple of pieces are um, some things my daughter created over her time in, well, between high school and parts of college. Um, so there's some other landscapes here done from photos I, I took. They're larger scale. Uh, the shoes are my daughter's sneakers from when she was a little girl. I just was really inspired by them and their sweetness, their playfulness. And then the painting down below is of my sister. She was waiting in a pool and um, it just sort of became something a little bit different than that. Like she's resting in the clouds almost. I really like it. And then over here, I think I've shared this. This is a 30 by 30 inch still life. Um, got a missing ceiling tile. And a print for my daughter that she created in college of her, some pictures of her um, growing up. And she's a, currently a printmaker based out of Chicago. So we have a lot of good conversations about art. This is a... Um, rather realistic piece that I did on multiple small canvases and then cut them and mounted them onto a larger surface and framed it. And they call it Eggs a Story. It's a large piece and I don't know, it's fun painting eggs. They're very interesting. And then I have a little still life and another, um, what I call, similar in construction to the other piece, so this is the peonies um, painted on multiple small canvases, cut and then mounted into a larger, a larger area, um, and then framed. Again, it was, I call these, um, what was I calling them? Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting right now. Um, but anyways, like a uh, collage type work. And then this is one of my Vanita still lifes that I did. Uh, a little while back, I did a series of contemporary Vanitas paintings, and you can look that up. Vanitas are a very symbolic, historical genre of within still life, and um, I had fun just sort of trying to work something in a more contemporary vein um, out of something from the past. And the one on the bottoms, a landscape of very abstract nature of um, some flowers. And then this piece I think I've shared before as well. It's another 30 by 30 inch canvas. Um, so that's, this is the area and I'm still in the process of adding more art to it. I've got a whole um, shelf load of things here that are wrapped up that I'm going to try to um, put up. And I had a friend suggest that I could at some point have um, you know, a little show or studio visits to see my art down here in this area. And then I'm just going to wrap up with, this is where you, I've taken you before, my, um, the physical working space. And I'm in the process on a, of a, on a new, I'll just end with this, um, a new landscape from, um, a visit I made to Maine some years back. It's, I'm working from a photograph. So that's it, everybody. Thank you for uh, lending me your eyes and ears. And I hope you have an enjoyable day. And 
have fun creating and thanks for being here.